Hey Parker, so I'm going to be answering your moral dilemmas today. Hopefully uh, it goes well. So as for your first moral dilemma, dealing with slaves, um, unfortunately, obviously, I would have to keep the slaves because if my younger brother was cruel to them and had history of it, I wouldn't feel right giving them to him. Like, it's like the lesser of the two evils sort of situation. Hopefully, if I was at forward thinking enough, I would, you know, give them some sort of, like, decent living conditions because, and, you know, not split them up because that was a big deal and I, I would not be able to give them to him. It's like, the, it's literally the lesser of the two evils. That's how I see it. It's unfortunate, but yeah. As for number two, it may have very well been better for the world if George Washington would have died and we were still a British colony. Um, if only for the fact of there would be a significant number less slaves. But there's also the idea that America was not treated well under British regime, which that's debatable. It's like, well, it's like, well, which is more important, you know, not paying exorbitant taxes or saving the lives of how many people. Yeah, I'm gonna have, personally, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with, it would have been better if George Washington had died and we were still a British colony and therefore abolished slavery 30 years sooner with less of a war, but then there's also sort of the idea that like, well, maybe there still would have been a war because things, you know, the South being such like slave states and scenario number three. I would have to only drop one bomb rather than two because I would want to take, cause like it's horrible, but 65% odds sounds pretty good to me. I, I, it, it's not foolproof, but 65% is decent enough that I can hope to maybe save a certain amount of lives with minimal damage. So I would only do one bomb. Of course, this is all easy for me to say as none of this really impacts me in the long run. As for the purple people, I don't agree with the death penalty regardless. So I wouldn't be able to to pass the death penalty even with that amount of murder or maybe I would it depends on the on the implications and how each how each group I guess fulfilled this and the amount of individual murders each person committed but ultimately I'm usually opposed to the death penalty because I don't I don't I don't agree with that as for the tires I I uh, I like to think that police blockades are not used in many situations and I would probably see this is a difficult one because it's like oh I you know police blockades <laughs> but like I I mm, I'd probably put the tires out there because it's not like a serious thing it's not like um other car companies who have like pushed things that they knew were unsafe or things like that and the police would probably just sort of find a way around it like they have for other things. There are other ways to stop a car or slow it down. And plus, like, I've never even, like, really heard of a police blockade working or being used, like, in the case of, like, tire spikes. And I'm sure they've been used at some point. Because why would they be a thing otherwise? So your question has caused me to think, and that's something I don't typically like thinking most of my uh moral dilemmas come from existential crises for example the brain in the vat theory and pretty much all of Rene Descartes philosophies which it pretty much Rene Descartes philosophies and meditations can be summed up as are do you really exist or are you just like completely hallucinating everything ever I'll see you tomorrow Parker I'm working on something special again for Monday so yay so I'll see you then, DFTBA, bye. Um, here's an almost finished Rubik's Cube. I've got that and then the rest aren't finished, but maybe they will be, we'll see. So.